With many of our Meals on Wheels clients owning animals, staying safe around animals is an important part of meal delivery. In this video, we will discuss animal safety best practices. We will also discuss proper process to go through in the event of an incident. Preventing incidents from happening in the first place is the easiest way to stay safe. The best way to avoid an adverse animal interaction is to read the special instructions noted on the Mobile Meals app in the tablet. If a client has a dog, that will be listed in these notes. If a client needs to be called ahead of time to ensure that their animals are put away before the driver arrives, that will also be listed in the notes. These special instructions are here for your safety and knowledge. They help minimize surprises out in the field. Follow precautions even if a client says their animal is friendly. Animals sense things differently than humans and may be triggered unpredictably. Remember to never get out of your vehicle if there is a dog loose in the area. If a client is not visible, give them a call at the number provided on the Mobile Meals app and ask them to restrain their animal. Similarly, if a client requests that you open the door to their house to hand their meals in, you may require that the pets be restrained or put in another room before entry. Petting a client's animal is not advised and doing so is at your own risk. If you decide to pet a client's animal, do so safely. Always ask the client's permission to touch their pet. Pet animals slowly. Allow them to see and smell your hand before you touch them. Do not reach towards the animal's face or the top of their head, but rather pet them on their back or on their side. Do not pick up any of the animals. If you are approached by an unrestrained dog, stand very still. The dog may lose interest and walk away. If a safe zone such as your vehicle is nearby, walk very slowly to get out of harm's way. Do not make any sudden movements. Dogs may sense this as a threat or even as a playful behavior, which may result in aggression. Always play it safe around client animals. We believe that the safety of our team comes first. If a client does not restrain their animal to the degree which will give the Meals on Wheels driver the level of safety they deserve, the driver may choose to decline service to that client. If this takes place, the driver should alert the nutrition office so that the staff here may follow up with the client. Unfortunately, even with safeguards in place, incidents do happen. These can range from dog bites to pets getting loose or escaping from homes. If an incident occurs while you are on your delivery route, stay calm. As appropriate, let the client know what has happened. Incident management is easiest when all parties involved have strong communication. In the unlikely situation that immediate medical attention is necessary, seek the help you need. Call the nutrition department to ensure that any remaining clients on your Meals on Wheels delivery route get served. You will be asked to fill out an incident report if able or one will be filled out on your behalf by the staff in our department. For most incidents, alerting the office and updating the client notes will be sufficient. This can be done by either adding a change of condition when prompted or by typing a note in the driver comments. This information will be forwarded along to the client's care consultant at SourcePoint. The care consultant and the nutrition department staff work together to ensure the situation is properly handled. Depending on the severity of the incident, you may be asked to fill out an incident report. This allows SourcePoint to ensure that the situation is addressed properly. These reports may also be used to shape organizational policy where fit. As mentioned earlier, the greater the amount of communication and information we receive regarding the incident, the more smoothly the process will go to get the incident resolved. Dog bites from client animals are an incident with a very specific course of action. They may be reported via the tablet, but also must be reported via an incident report back at the nutrition office. Once the incident report is complete, our staff will reach out to the client's care consultant, as well as our quality assurance office and the Ohio Dog Warden. At this point, the situation is out of the jurisdiction of the nutrition department here at SourcePoint. The dog warden will investigate the situation. If the dog has a history of biting, additional action may be taken to assure the health and safety of all involved. 
The dog warden or the health department will research the dog's vaccination records and will reach out to the bite victim via phone or mail on how to proceed based on the information they find from the vaccination records. Whether or not an incident has occurred, if you feel that an owner is unable to care for or to control their animal, do not hesitate to put a note in the chat or in the change of condition tab on the tablet. If you believe that animal cruelty or animal abuse is taking place, this can also be put in the chat. Per state law, suspected abuse must be reported. As the witness to the situation, it is up to you to report the incident to the Humane Society of Delaware County, Ohio, via their website. SourceBy will never file an animal abuse complaint on your behalf. Although animal incidents can never 100% be avoided, following the tips and procedures outlined in this video can help keep our drivers safe around clients' pets during their meal on wheels deliveries. Stay safe out there.